Hi, you're listening to Abacadabra Radio. This podcast is for my conscious creator friends, my manifesting besties. This is part stream of consciousness, part talking with people who love to talk about conscious creation, manifestation, spiritual things, anything in between. And it is my hope that through this podcast, I expand my own awareness and understanding of myself and you guys do too. I am happy to have you guys here along for the ride. Hello, hello, my conscious creator friends, my manifesting besties. Welcome to yet another episode of Avocadabra Radio. I'm Abby, your host, and I'm so happy that you guys are here. Before we get started, of course, I need to let you guys know about what's on the website. We have the Opening Up to Money Masterclass, which is a three-day masterclass getting to the root of money. When you get to the root of how you see money and your relationship with it, you can improve it, and you will see these things shifting. And we do EFT tapping. It is a guided three-day masterclass. So that is available. I have three hypnosis slash meditations that are fully guided. There is a identity shifting hypnosis, which gives you the permission to show up how you've been waiting to show up. There is an opening up to love hypnosis and opening up to money hypnosis. The love and the money hypnosis are both exactly what they sound like. They are to deepen and strengthen and amplify the relationship that you have with love and the relationship that you have with money. All three of those are available. I also have the blueprint, the 30 day, three part meditative process for aligning with your desires. I've talked about that at nauseum at this point. You guys know what the blueprint is. I use it every day. It works for me. I've seen it work for other people. It will work for you too. Definitely go check that out. And I have a timeline shifting audio. So if you need a guided timeline shift to anchor into a new reality, I have that too. So you can go get all of those on the website. Let's get into the episode. There is a certain point that you get in reality creation and conscious creation in your manifestation journey where you realize that there is a ton of power in yourself, which that's something that I'm trying to open up people to more and more. And that's why I talk about these things. That's why I post the videos I post. That's why I work with people one-on-one. Reality creation consulting is another thing that you can get on the website for a one-on-one let's talk about what you're manifesting talk about what you're creating and ways for you to do it even more successfully that is also available when you get into your conscious creation journey and realize that the power is really all within you and not outside of yourself you hit a point where when you can be okay with whatever's happening that's when you've hit your sweet spot that's ultimately the goal that i'm working towards and something that i think if we collectively start owning that internal energy, it's going to make a lot of difference. It's gonna make a lot of changes and like beneficial changes for everybody. I'm gonna remind you guys that circumstances do not matter. Only state of being matters. I say it, Bashar says it, Neville Goddard talks about self-concept, law of assumption. We People are talking about this t- sort of thing, how circumstances we give them we gave them all the power we gave all of our circumstances all of our power because we allow circumstances to dictate how we feel how we think how we act how we react and how we believe about ourselves in the world and that's fine and good and we've lived like that for a really long time so not a problem we're not judging ourselves is that the most conducive for conscious creation no (laughs) is that the most conducive for manifesting your best life no and i want to remind you guys too that manifestation you are in your manifestation It's not something outside of yourself. It's something you're always doing, whether you're aware of it or not. So don't feel like it's something that you have to get into because it's something you're doing anyway. You're living in your manifestation right now. And all the timelines that could be playing out are all playing out right now because time's not real, time's not linear. I like to give those little reminders of things that I like dive deep into on the podcast. So those are your reminders. So something that I've been working on cultivating is the relationship with self and i've talked about this quite a bit how your relationship with yourself is really really important and really really powerful because ultimately there is no other person that you're guaranteed to come up against or across or convene with every single day of your life and yourself you're with every single moment of your life so that's why it's important to have a positive self-concept that's why it's important to lift yourself up We live in a society where sometimes if people are into themselves or love themselves, we see it as being selfish, we see it as being conceited, we see it as being like not a good thing. And there are times when maybe that's not a good thing. When you are putting your needs before every single other person's all the time and not help, like that's not great. I don't suggest doing that. However, 
when you don't give yourself the opportunity to have a relationship with yourself, that's when things are gonna feel chaotic. That's when you're gonna feel like the rug has been pulled out from under you. That's when things are gonna feel weird and messy and icky and you're gonna be like ungrounded, very ungrounded. If anything, the relationship that you cultivate with yourself will make you feel more and more grounded and more and more stable, which is what we want because then you have a foundation to build on and you can build up from there. How do you cultivate a relationship with yourself for it to, to look like that? So for me, what I did is the first thing I did, and this has been years of work. So I'm gonna try to take that years of work and consolidate it for you guys to follow in like the next few weeks, days, months, years, whatever, whatever it's gonna be for you, it's gonna be for you. The first thing that I did when I started to work on my relationship with me was my self-concept and I was doing mirror work. I didn't know what self-concept was at the time, but I knew I hated myself and I knew I hated my reality and I knew if I wanted things to change, I had to change. So I spent time and it was uncomfortable. Like me at the time I started this work was legitimately afraid of cameras, afraid of videos, afraid of being recorded, afraid of being photographed, afraid of seeing myself outside of like what I see in the mirror. I couldn't do it. So the mirror work was really tough because you're looking at yourself in your eyes and saying, I love you and you're not feeling it. I did that over and over and over again. And I said positive things to myself and I poured into myself for months. And I remember one of the affirmations I used to tell myself is I'm the shit. That's what I would tell myself. And I started owning that one easily a little quicker than the other ones. And I remember when I first heard that reflected back to me in my reality, mind you, I was in my early twenties. So there was one night I was out with my friends and I had been drinking and one of them said like, you're the shit. And I remember this is how I knew it worked because instead of going, no, no, not me, which is what I would have done. I was like, yeah. And I felt it and I accepted it, not in a conceited way, not in a, yeah, I'm the shit. No, in a, yeah, yeah. And I got it, I got it. And I was like, okay, this, this is how this is gonna work. This is how I'm seeing evidence of this seeping into my reality. The things I'm telling myself are starting to take root and reflect back to me, which is awesome. How, how else can I use this to my benefit? So throughout the years, <laughs> zooming away from that i've been through a life i've been living life i've been having life happen you know there's changes there's promotions there's loss there's weddings there's babies there, there's so many things that are happening and within all of these things some of them are fabulous things some of them are terrible things some of them are in between i've noticed that mainly over the last few maybe like two years is when I've really come into my own of being like, I know I'm good. I know I'm supported. I know I've got this. And it's only strengthening as time goes on because the more I own that I know I'm supported and I know I'm worthy and I know I'm loved and I know I'm going to be okay. Ultimately, I'm going to be okay with whatever plays out. That has really been showing up for me a lot lately because I've had some situations happen that I feel like, okay, let me give an example. This week I had news given to me that if you had given me this news, maybe four or five months ago even, it would have ended my world. It would have ended everything. I would have been a mess. I would have been distraught. I'd be panicking. I wouldn't be sleeping. It would be very, very bad. So I got the news that I got this week that I'm not gonna share because it's not my news to share. And I did not react that way. I did not react on autopilot and I was really proud of myself. And that's part of the reason why I'm recording this now. I hit a point where I got the news, I got teary eyed, I got emotional and I said, I'm gonna be okay. I'm with whatever plays out, I, I have that, I have that and it took a long time for me to get there. I have it now, and this is something that I'm going to be volleying in and out of probably for the rest of my life, but at least in this moment, in that time, I felt like even if everything goes away, I've got my own back, which is something I didn't have, which is something that I think is very, very powerful for everybody. And part of that is meditating for me. Part of that is convening with myself. Part of that can be journaling. Part of that can be whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel like you are supporting you 
is going to work the best for you. And that's going to show up in different ways. That might show up as cooking your favorite meal. That might show up as having a day where you pamper yourself and like take a luxurious bath and like buy nice selling, smelling soaps and perfumes and like do all of that stuff. Whatever it looks like for you is fine. But however you need to cultivate the relationship that you have with you, you need not you need to. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm advising you work on doing that because when the world starts to get chaotic and weird and we all know the world's looking chaotic and weird, you know you got your own back. You know the universe has your back. You know that source, whatever. You're held, feeling held, feeling good. And circumstances have a funny way of playing out in ways that we think everything's just gonna absolutely fall away, fall apart, and ex or explode, or just be really, really bad. And we build up the story in our heads of what's gonna happen if, what's gonna happen when, I don't know how I'm gonna survive. You don't even know if that thing's gonna happen. You don't know if those things are going to fall away. That domino effect you're seeing does not mean that that's what's going to happen. That's just something you're worried about, something that you're fearful of, and that's okay. We operate out of fear because it's safe. Because evolutionarily, we had to operate out of fear to survive. You're going to survive. Before I end the episode, because this is not going to be a long one, but before I end the episode, I want to walk us through a guided meditation. So if you are into that, that's what we're getting into now. Um, and if you're not, I guess, bye. Thanks for being here. But I'm going to walk us through a guided meditation for that relationship with self, holding yourself, cultivating that, just being you and letting that be enough. Because that's it's very powerful to do that. I love doing that. You guys are going to love doing it. I'm going to guide us through it right now. You can close your eyes. You don't have to keep them open. Lay down. Get comfortable. If you're driving, don't do this. If you're operating heavy machinery, don't do this. So forklift drivers can't do this. So sorry. That's what I think of when I think of operating heavy machinery. So let's get into it. We're going to start by taking a deep breath in through the nose. Hold. And slowly let it all out through your mouth. And let everything relax and drop. And again, inhale in through the nose. Hold. And slowly let it out, centering yourself. And one more time, deep breath in through the nose. Hold. And with an audible sigh, let it all out. <sighs> let everything go, let your thoughts go. Let any tension, any stress, any worry, any anxiety release and go. And as you breathe here, you find yourself becoming more and more relaxed with every breath, more and more at peace, more and more at ease. And as you breathe here, I want you to just feel your energy in your body. You might feel your arms and your feet. You might feel your back and your shoulders. But I want you to go deeper than that. I want you to feel the support that is inside of you. It doesn't take long to zero in on that feeling of grounded. I am here within you, within your body. And we're going to breathe here for a couple of seconds, okay? I'm here. And you'll notice this unwavering stability and courage inside of you that you have access to at any time. And now I want you to shift your focus from feeling the support outside of you to feeling the support around you, the top of your body, the bottom of your body, the sides of your body, your whole auric field, your whole being being held by your consciousness, by the universe, by source, by God, if you believe in God, by whoever you believe in. And breathe into that 
feeling of support all around you. Effortless, loving support. And we're gonna breathe here for a few seconds. Breathing it in, allowing it to just effortlessly support you. And this is also a support of feeling that you can have at any time. That you can shift your focus to at any time and remember, I'm supported. I'm held. I'm here. And you get to give that gift to yourself. And you can give it to yourself as often as you want. Okay, we're going to take three deep breaths in. If you've closed your eyes, you'll open them on the third breath. Ready? One. Two. Three. Open your eyes. Hello. Doesn't that support feel so good? I love it. Okay, my friends, you guys know the email is here. It's also in the show notes. Email with questions for next week's episode, email for reading requests, whatever it is, or check out the site or whatever. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining. Until next time, this is Abby signing off.